Hey, yo, on the carnales, what is going on? Insomnia from the Mexican Gamers channel here. For you guys, this World of War gameplay, but this video is not gonna be about the gameplay, so <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for that. I'm really gonna talk about my opinions, because I just watched, or I just saw End of Watch uh, last night. So I'm gonna talk about my opinions on, on the movie. Don't worry, I'm not gonna give any spoilers away, nothing that, you know, anything that comes in, in out in the trailer, that's pretty much what I'll mention and stuff like that. I won't give the ending or anything away, so. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, not only am I going to give a review, calling this a review would not be the proper word for it. So it's not going to be like a movie review, but I'm, on, I'm just going to give you like my thoughts on the movie and, and how it relates to what's been going on in my life um, for the past couple of weeks, man. Because right now, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of, you know, bad stuff. It's, it's really bad what's going on in Mexico, right? We've all known that for the past couple of years. Um, I mean, there's always been a, a drug cartel problem a drug trafficking problem but it had never escalated to the point where it is now in, in recent years right so it, right now um for the new subscribers that don't know I, I i'm from a i used to live i just moved i used to live in a border town right so it was i could have been in mexico within 15 minutes right and i, I used to go to mexico once a week um because i have a lot of family you know my grandparents my my, my, my two grandparents my tios my tias my cousins you know, aunts, uncles, all that. You know, have a lot, a lot of family in Mexico. And I, I really loved going there, man. I feel like I grew up there. Like a part of me, like um, I'd say I grew up eight, you know, 85% in the United States and the other 15% in Mexico. I swear. But uh, yeah, man, like uh, it, it's sad what's going on. And, you know, I, I went to see End of Watch and, you know, I, Real quick, man. End of watch. If you have doubts whether or not you don't know if it'll be a good movie, if you don't know, I mean, just go watch it, man. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen. Neta sin mamadas. It's one of the best. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen, man. Like, it was just, it, it was so well done, and I'm so glad that they put, you know, this Mexican American cop in it with with a, a white cop. I mean, they they, it was it was really really good, well made. They bust some some Mexican jokes and they make some white jokes and. It's 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 all in good fun and it was really really well done. The, the chemistry be between both characters, I mean, the movie makes you, you know, um, get attached to these characters, man. Like it's a really well done movie and it's it's awesome. It's really action packed, but it also has a very very good story to it. So go watch it, neta, it's con madre. So uh, yeah, the movie, you know, I wa I went to see End of Watch and it, you know it deals with these two LAPD cops that um they've been doing drug busts they're, they've been you know busting kind of members or people who work for for this certain mexican cartel so they start getting in trouble with this cartel right um they uh, like again i'm not giving anything away that's not in the trailer right so i'm not going to spoil the movie for you i'm not going to give you the ending no worry yeah so so that that starts happening so that, you know it has to do with cartels and what's going on in mexico nowadays and how it's in in you know how it's affecting the united states well, um, you know, so there's a lot of scenes where they show what, what the cartels do to people and how the cartels work and how they operate and this and that. So, so it has to do with, with cartels and what's going on in Mexico, right? So I, I get home from watching the movie and my mom tells me that uh, there, there's been, you know, these past couple of weeks, there's been, you know, an all-out war going on. Or, or not, not these past couple of weeks, but it just, you know, it, it escalated to an all-out war. And now, today in Mexico, in the city where I, that I used to be neighbors with, in the city that has all my family in, or a lot, a big part of my family in, um, there's an all-out war going on in the streets. Um, not war like you see in uh, here in the video game. Not not in the whole city, but in certain parts of the city, there's there's an all-out war, man. Like certain, you know, cartel members are asking, are getting people out of their houses and asking them to, to join the war in their favor. So it, it's really dangerous. And uh, my dad was on the phone with my grandma. We asked her, I mean, we really wanted to pick her up because we, we want to get her out of there. You know, we, we don't want, I'm really worried because I feel like so stressed because I can't do anything about it because my family's in danger. But um, my, my grandma definitely, she's like, no, don't pick me up. I don't want you guys driving two hours. And I don't want you, most importantly, being in Mexico at this time because it's really bad. So yeah, we had plans to go to Mexico next week, but if he keeps up like this, nah, man, it's not gonna happen. We're, we're not gonna go because my dad won't want to put his family in danger. And I mean, why would you put your family in that sort of danger with that all with that war going on um, today? So yeah, man, it, it it gets me stressed and it gets me like sad and just angry at those people because Chinga, man, like I, I we really can't do anything about it. Um, and, and family's in danger and 
I mean, it is what it is. I don't know if you guys also have family in Mexico, but it, it, it gives you this stress I and mean, this added added stress, and and it sucks. But uh, back to the movie talk. Um, yeah, I watched it, and it was an amazing movie. My, I, w I went to watch it with some friends, and I I watched it with a Fili Filipino American friend, right? So he's not Mexican, and he comes up to me. He's like, "Yeah, man, it was a really good movie. It was amazing, but I didn't like how they portrayed how they made the Mexicans look in this movie. You know what I mean? They made them look as bad people." And I explained to him, I was like, "Nah, I don't, I don't, I didn't take it as they made the Mexicans look as bad people because there's certain, there's um these these villains, right? These bad characters in the movie that they're they're Mexican cholos, right? So they make them, they're like, "Hey, what up, SA? and this and that. And they make them look." you know bad that's what it's supposed to be so i was explaining to him that i didn't it wasn't like i took offense to that or anything like that because i mean one of the main characters if not the main main character is the mexican american cop and wow man no one could have done it better no other actor than michael peña could have done it better man um so yeah michael peña he, he's the actor's name he plays the role of uh, officer savala officer mike savala and uh what's what's the other dude's name i have it right here on the computer jake gillenhall and he plays the role as uh, officer brian taylor and both of them amazing amazing jobs man I mean, I mean, they, their role, the way they played their character was just amazing. It's it's a it's a great movie, bros. It's a great movie, and I watched it at a time where, where you know, what's been going on with my my family and the situation in Mexico, and then I watched this movie, and it it, it brings back, you know, it, it you know, this shows scenes like of, of the cartels and this and that, and you know, it just it it was perfect timing, man. And it made made me reflect, it makes me angry and stressed and worried, but. Uh, you know, hopefully everything everything ends up going well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching Carnales. That's the end of the video, bros. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.